following question reads that the diagram shows two identical spheres x and y so the, there's x and there's y and there's a velocity given for one of the spheres so initially x moves with speed v directly towards uh, y and y is uh, it says that y is stationary so that means y has uh, an initial velocity of zero the spheres collide elastically so what happens uh, so what happens to x and what happens to y now uh, the first uh, option a says that uh, x moves with speed half v to the right so x is going to move to the right with a speed of half v and y moves with speed half v to the right as well so y is also going to move to the right with a speed of half v so this is what what is stated in option a since it's an elastic collision i'm going to hold this statement to be true that the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy they must be equal so uh, let's give both spheres uh, let's assume that they have a mass of m this one also has a mass of m uh, the initial kinetic energy uh, using the formula of kinetic energy for sphere 1 or sphere x is going to be half mv squared it's moving with the velocity of v so it's going to be half mv squared uh, the kinetic energy for y initially is going to be zero because uh, it's not moving velocity is zero so v square uh, if the velocity is zero uh, half mv square is going to have it's going to have zero energy and let's uh, uh, find the final kinetic energy the final kinetic energy for this would be uh, the final kinetic energy both spheres remember are moving with a velocity of half v this one is also moving with a velocity of half v so i'm going to do uh, it's going to be half m and the velocity now is half v so that's going to be squared and this one is also going to have the same this one is also going to have exactly the same kinetic energy because it also has a mass of m and it also has a velocity of half v so i'm just going to multiply it by two and if i try to solve this it's going to become half m half v square would be one by four into v squared multiplied by two uh, this two would cancel out with this two but remember uh, even if i simplify this expression it's not going to become equal to the initial kinetic energy which was half mv square so uh, remember uh, they told us that the collision was elastic but over here the collision is not coming out to be elastic initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy are not coming out to be equal they should be equal hence uh, the first statement option a it must be incorrect similarly we can move to option b now uh, option b states uh, that uh, uh, this x sphere moves with speed v to the left and the first one remains stationary so let's think of uh, option b now so this is the original scenario and it says option b states that x moves with speed v to the left so this moves with the speed of v to the left whereas y remains uh, completely stationary so let's think of this now uh, the the kinetic energy is definitely conserved because the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy they are coming out to be equal because this sphere is not moving so that it has zero zero kinetic energy uh, it's uh, the first sphere first initially moves with half mv square to the right so it has a kinetic energy of half mv square then it bounces back by hitting the second sphere and it now has a final kinetic energy it's still traveling with the speed of v it still has a mass of m so the, the final kinetic energy is still half mv square so uh, elastic uh, elastic collision the kinetic energy is conserved but we also need to uh, see or check whether the momentum is conserved initial momentum must equal final momentum so initial momentum is going to be m multiplied by v uh, i taking this as the positive direction the final momentum is going to come out to be uh, minus m multiplied by v because uh, mass into velocity is uh, momentum so initially it's moving in the towards the right so mass into velocity to the right uh, but after bouncing off the first sphere it's moving to the left so the velocity is now has a different direction so i'm going to put assign a negative sign to it so my final momentum is going to be minus m multiplied by v so in option b the momentum is not being conserved so this uh, this part is going to be incorrect this would be an error
Let's now look at uh, option C again. Option C says that it moves with half feet to the left, moves with half feet to the right. Now this is uh, this is going to be very similar to option A. I can uh, let's move B as well. I'm going to remove C as well because uh, C is very similar to A. Uh, in A, it's moving. Uh, the spheres are moving half feet to the right. Both spheres are moving half, with a speed of half feet to the right. Whereas in C, uh, one is moving half feet to the left. The other one is moving half feet to the right. But if you do, if you do the calculations again, the kinetic energy is not going to be conserved. We did this calculation for A as well. Uh, remember, kinetic energy is uh, has uh, the direction would have no issue uh, would have no relevance to energy. So, so the calculations for A and the calculations for C are going to be very very similar. Uh, that would leave us with D. D would be the correct answer because uh, X it says that after collision it stops, whereas uh, Y moves with the speed v to the right what option uh, d suggests is that initially this sphere was moving with v and this was stationary and then after collision this sphere is now moving with the velocity v and the first one is stationary so uh, kinetic energy is conserved initial kinetic energy would be equal to final kinetic energy initially this sphere would have the kinetic energy it's going to be half mv square after collision this sphere is stationary and this sphere would be traveling with a kinetic energy of half m v squared so kinetic energy after and before they go, it's going to be equal and momentum is also going to be conserved initially momentum is mass into velocity uh, mv the other sphere is stationary so it has zero momentum and then after collision uh, the sphere is traveling to the right so the direction hasn't changed so it's again mass into velocity so it's going to have exactly the same value which is why momentum is going to be conserved as well. So this fulfills, option D fulfills all the conditions necessary for an elastic collision. So option D is going to be the correct option for this question.